What's up everybody, Music Man here, and welcome to this installation video for Darth Mod Empire. Now I do have another video up which is slightly out of date, so I will be deleting that one and this will be taking its place. Uh, there was some uh, confusion because it, I w it was an older version and you had to uh, do some different stuff. So this is the brand new, or this is the most recent version, uh, 8.0 Platinum, and the patch as well. But I'm going to show you how to install these onto your computer uh, so it will run. Now keep in mind that there are two ways of doing it. Uh, you have ModDB, part 1 and part 2, and I wouldn't really worry about any of these except for Torrent. If you're like me and you want it as easy as possible, with uh, without the two-part deal, uh, you can use uTorrent. Now the catch for downloading in one file is you have to actually create an account here with Total War Center, which I, if you haven't already, I would really recommend doing. Uh, you can get access to all the mods that uh, these mod developers put on there, and with uh, links that work and everything. So, yeah, I would, I would really, if you haven't already, just uh, give that a go. And so, yeah, it would, it would, it's all for your total war mod needs. But anyway, um, we're going to do U tour. I want to show the U torrent first because it's, you know, it's a little easier. So you just go through U torrent, and you can go to their website here and do the free download. Now I don't have it installed because I've saved my download. And if you're like me, very I like to try to keep everything as organized as humanly possible. Um, go to my, I have a backup hard drive and I've already got them there so so anyway once you download through uTorrent just change your uh, bandwidth allocation to high and click the uh, right click the download when it is up so that's all you have to do so I had to let it download and then um, it'll come up and it'll be a, it'll be a zip file so you just install the free version of WinZip and you can put it into a folder like this and uh, so you'll have it there for so you don't have to if you want to reinstall because sometimes you re you uh, uninstall your games and you want to reinstall so you can put them in this folder and you won't have to worry about downloading them again so so all you have to do is um, now there's this is the same way between both uh, both parts to download even through mod DB and I'll show that a little bit later it's it's kind of the same thing but you know a tad bit different so all you have to do is when you have your if you do uTorrent just uh, double click it on the application and a something should come up here there we go and so if you're actually doing part one this will be part one but for me it's the whole game because I installed through uTorrent so you click next and then you click agree now here is the path that is what you want right there it is Empire Total War and it should automatically come up but if it doesn't uh, you can change that just uh, go to where your Steam is Steam Apps Common and Empire Total War and then you click next I won't because I have already installed it so after you do that, it'll you know it'll be installed, and then you do the same thing with the patch. Now this is the 8.0.1 match uh, patch. Sorry, I say match, but it's patch. Um, you can also see the patch is here, and it is all through ModDB, so you don't have to do the uTor or anything. It's all through ModDB, so that's nothing to worry about. So when you do that, you go to the patch here, and you want you want download it. And then you can put it in your folder or your desktop or whatever, and double click it, run, click next, and obviously agree. And it should go into the same exact folder that you use to download uh, the, the, the base game. So, same folder, I won't because I have already installed that. And then you should be good to go. Now, I can show you. If, now this is for the mod DB users if you want to go ahead and download in two parts then I can show you that here now you go to mod DB and you just find where it is on part one you download it and I'm going to warn you it is a 1.9 gigabyte download so it will take a while depending on your internet and it's going to be an 
exe file as you can see right here on mod db exe file so all you have to do is move that to your desktop or if you're like me uh, you have a certain place where you want to put all your mods you just uh, zip and you just uh, put it in there and that is part one then you go to part two and as you can see that this is a zip right here so you will have to actually do your uh, free version of winzip or if you have a full version of winzip then you can uh, zip that to the place where you want your um, where you want your uh, mod to be or your desktop so so you'll zip it to your desktop and then you should have it to where let me let me show you where my uh, everything is here so it should come up you you should have like a the platinum it, it does use that because I did install and that is part one I canceled it because it was taking forever. So it should say the part one should play say platinum, and then you can click to install that, or zip it and then install it to the same exact folder, Empire Total War. It's the same exact one. You do that for part two. You download it, you install it to the same folder, Empire Total War, and then you do the same thing with the patch. And then that that should be the uh, the way to install it in two parts if you're using just mod DB. So when you install it and you're ready to go, you click the desktop icon and it will give you this launcher. Now, I can't show you the real launcher on mine because it plays Don Giovanni and YouTube will have a fit, I do believe, because they're going to claim it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that just like this will come up. And then you have options up here. And the, they, the, actually the patch changes one of these options. I think it's in the settings. It actually shows you right here. Yeah, in the settings, auto start is off. That's what it changes in the patch. And that's actually a good thing. So, what? because I'll explain here later, when you get the uh, the launcher here, you just, all you gotta do is just click campaigns. Another drop down will appear. And then you'll actually see D me ultimate late or uh, early or uprising campaign and you click which one whichever one you want and then you click start now here's the catch here's another catch when you click start there's going to be another window that pops up to say to say that uh, your the game is ready and you'll have to launch it manually now that means that you will have to launch it of course through steam because the uh, the first time you do do the launcher you do, do the launcher it'll move files so when you uh, are ready to play that that window will pop up and you'll be ready to go so all you have to do is just launch Empire through your steam now that should be about it and then the the rebel banner or the Empire banner for, from Star Wars will will uh, pop up and say Darth Maul Empire and you'll be ready to play now I'm gonna try to do this without doing the the music there you go see right here and then you do that and you launch it through steam now when you exit as you can see you'll see DME ready or vanilla ready this is whatever you want if you are mostly players of the vanilla you can just do that or if you're going to keep them on for a while and play it play maybe you'll play a campaign then you do DME ready and that'll close your launcher and I think that is it, everybody. So <laughs> it's a um, you know little little descriptive, but um, this is the uh, most recent version. Last video I did was uh, I think it was a low um, past version. So then just make sure Empire Total War folder for everything. And if you're doing it in two parts, do them in order: download, install, and then download, install the other part, and then the patch. But if you're using uTorrent, just uh, download it one go and install it through there and then get the patch but the launcher um, when you're ready to launch the game it works the same way so guys I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, how to install video for Darth Maul Empire and hope that you have many good campaigns I know I have on my United States campaign and please go check that out uh, link will be in the description as well as the links to the download and I, if if they're not working for some reason, just let me know, and I will refresh the uh, the links on there. So, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And this is Music Man signing off. Thank you for watching.